All right, it's the 3rd of June, 2022. So what am I making with my GPU rigs right now? Mining Ethereum. So we are on two miners, and I have about 1.5 giga hash. Thank you to the hackers that cracked the NVIDIA LHR feature. My 3080 Ti LHR are now getting 120 mega hash each, up from high 80s. Incredible. Thank you for that. Uh, appreciate it. NFA, uh, NFA, NVIDIA can uh, can go can go bite me. Um, but uh, yeah. So anyway, we are looking good. It's not great. It's not the heyday of mining. But with this, I'm getting 3165 a day mining Ethereum. And like I said, 1.4 giga hash. And uh, get my payout. I do about 0.2 ETH on the payout. And that's going to go right to Bitcoin, baby. And as I've been mentioning in most of my videos, I'm putting everything I can into Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin's market cap is shooting back up. There was talks months ago about, oh, the swapping when Ethereum's market cap will outperform, take over, replace that of Bitcoin's. And that ain't going to happen. Ethereum's POS merge is going to destroy Ethereum. If you don't believe me, just watch the Ethereum dev calls on their YouTube channel. There's no alpha chads in there. There's no one leading that ship. It just seems uh, confused. They don't have any real focus on getting stuff done. It's just, it's almost a, a poop show. It's, a, it's almost an amber turd show. Yeah, it's not looking good. I have no faith in that platform. And I think there's so many other platforms out there that are more scalable and will have better fees and stuff and will gladly replace Ethereum. Plus, NFTs are on Ethereum. NFTs are dying. It's like CryptoKitties, BitConnect, ain't going to be around. It was just a fad, shiny object, and a lot of people are probably losing money right now. Who knows? That's just my perception, my opinion, and uh, you know how that goes. But again, I, I look at things every day, and I kind of get a good feeling for the lay of the land, situational awareness on the crypto world. And man, I'm just putting everything into Bitcoin. I will mine Ethereum because it is profitable right now. Still profitable, even with power. Even with the old power cost. But it's not like it was months ago. But anyway, I'm getting it all paid out into Bitcoin. And uh, that is not financial advice. That's what I'm doing because I believe in Bitcoin. That's why I got into crypto and I'm going to stick with it. So there you go. That's what I'm getting in my uh, rigs right now. Nothing great. Nothing life-changing. Nothing awesome. It's just what it is. And it's, uh, it's all right. I mean... I'm getting a bit over the GPUs because they're um, high maintenance mode in a way. You got to manage these things. You got to just feed them. You got to change their diapers. You got to, you know, you got to talk to them. Uh, other than that, it's it's all right. If I would have known about ASICs years ago, I may would have bought some ASICs. I don't know yet. I'm still con I'm still deciding how this is all going to play out. I really don't see buying GPUs right now. I really can't justify it. I just don't know enough. No one really knows, and if they do, I don't know. I'd question that. I think I'm going to just be more efficient with what I have right now and go forth. All right, let's look at Ethereum. Speaking of Ethereum, we all hate the gas fees. We all hate the network fees. Look how low they are right now. We are at 40. Oh, just jumped. It was 45. Now just shot up to 70, 67, 70. So if you have stuff you want to move, if you have Ethereum ERC20 tokens, move them if you want. Now's the chance. The fees should be down. Uh, yeah, I have stuff. I moved. Coinbase came out with a wallet app. And I moved a couple small percentages of coins. Let's say 40 bucks worth. Nothing much at all. Over to this wallet on my phone. And uh, they are Ethereum tokens. God, I hate Ethereum network. I can't even get them off. I'm trying to move them back to Coinbase. But no, they say you need $12 worth of Ethereum to move your $15 worth of coins. I went, this is such crap. If that's not going to turn off normies, is that? I mean, I don't know what will. If you're an average guy not knowing much about crypto, and you come in and say, "Wait, I got to spend twelve bucks to move fourteen bucks," what? It doesn't make sense, guys. It's kind of redonkulous, and I don't know. But with the fees low like that uh, right now, it may be an option to move stuff and or dump it, dump it to Bitcoin, change, exchange it to Bitcoin, Litecoin, or whatever, whatever, uh, anything but the Ethernet. ETH network, ERC-20. Get it off. Yeah, I don't know. 
that's just from my personal experience when I, I'm just like really stuff. Plus I use MetaMask when I was trying to move stuff. I went, this is expensive AF, man. This is crazy expensive. I don't get why this is even popular. It's just, it's just, I know the fees help pay the miners, which is great. But as usability of Ethereum, what a joke. I don't know. That's why I don't see it sticking around. I see once the mining support leaves, that's a lot of support. And uh, they may just kind of go the way of Luna. You don't, you just don't know. You really don't know. You just got to keep your head on a swivel and do your own research. Make your own conclusions. So here we are with the low gas fee again. Look at that. Looking good. So let's go check out the profitability. Lowest I've seen. Uh, 0 0.0217 USD a day for one mega hash of Ethereum. Yeah, let's go look at the three month scale. Yeah, it's dropping again. It is dropping back down. All right, let's go check out the, uh, let's see. Well, what are, what are we at right now? We are at 1751. 47. It's dropping, it's dropping fast, guys. Goodbye, Ethereum. I'm sure all cryptos are dropping, but again, Ethereum seems to be dropping continually. All right, let's go look at uh, profitability here. All right, let's look at the difficulty, and it was right in front of me, and I lost it. There it is. Average mining difficulty per day. Uh, let's go to one year. So it, obviously it's going up and up and up. It was going up. It started to come back down. People are freaking fear, fear in the streets. Oh, no, I'm not making any money. Power bill's high. I can't mine anymore. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, let's go three months. Three months, baby. This, look at it. It's dropping. It's kind of, it's kind of, I mean, we crested on the mountain peak. Little plateau coming down, coming down. It's coming down. So what this means is difficulty is dropping. So if you can afford your power bill out of pocket without selling your crypto, GPU mining, keep mining Ethereum. Use your, use your GPUs. Can't use them anymore. Just keep mining. Stack those Satoshis. Stack that Bitcoin. And just keep going because this is the bear market. This this is what separates the uh, soy boys from the men. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. But again, I understand people have power bills and power is expensive. And you're going to get a $400 power bill. And if you're not selling your crypto and you need to pay that bill, I don't know. I, it's tough. You got to make that decision whether to go forth and keep mining or just turn those things off and sell your rigs. Uh, that's, that's up to you. You got to do what's best for you. But for me, the difficulty is dropping and I just want to keep mining and hopefully I can accumulate more Ethereum so that I can exchange it on two miners and get paid on Bitcoin. Yeah, that's the plan. But everything I do always turns to crap. So we will see <laughs> what works best. Uh, there we go. So we are seeing it trending down. The difficulty is trending down a little bit, which is a good thing for miners for accumulation. Because right now you're not accumulating that much. The higher the difficulty goes, the less you actually accumulate. And that's completely separate from the fiat value of the coin. So if it does drop, you'll accumulate more coins as long as, you know, as long as it doesn't go to proof of stake and merge yet. Keep mining Ethereum. You can accumulate and then exchange it on your mining pool. Let them pay you out in Bitcoin, whether you're doing a nice hash, unminable, or uh, what I do, two miners. And uh, yeah, that's what I'm doing. That's where we're at. Let's check the markets. Crypto X, baby. Uh, let's do the fancy chart. This is the nice color for one, which uh, sucks a lot of browser bandwidth, apparently. A lot of widgets going on here. Loading, loading. Come on, big money, big money. Big money. And when the icon's green, the thumbnail, oh, it's red. <laughs> usually this reflects the market, so this is wrong. This is usually red. Holy crap, look at ETH. 1752.48, uh, Bitcoin 29,541. Oh my God, this is, yeah, we're bear, we've been in a bear market since when? November, December, uh, that's when it started. So there you go, guys. We are uh, 3rd June, 2022, difficulties dropping, profitabilities dropping, and market share on Bitcoin cap is going up. Let me see if I can show you that. All right, Bitcoin, uh, market cap, 564. Ethereum is still way behind the curve. Look at that. Let's do market cap on that.
What are we doing here? All right, we're at 29,540. Let's click on market cap. There we go. Uh, what year? Let's do We're seven day. Let's do, yeah, seven day. So it was dropping. It's come back up. It's dropping and it's inching back up. All right, 562. B with a billion. B with a billion, baby. Uh, crypto holder saver is here to support us. What? I don't know what that means. Elon team. Oh, well. Anyway, there we go. Just want to give you an update what I'm making on my rigs right now. Not much. Again, I hate to see the Powerball come in. It's going to hurt because I was pretty much making 50 bucks a day on that rig. Now it's down, obviously, 40-some 40, 40 percent. Uh, 30 to 40 percent. But there you go. That's all I got. I will talk to you later. Keep mining. Keep mining. Difficulties dropping. You might be able to accumulate, but uh, consider getting it all paid out in Bitcoin. That is all I got.